what we're building is uh, the MSA diaphragm. And what this is, is it sits between the propellant stage of the rocket and the Orion capsule. Uh, this is a very important uh, barrier that we need to have on this rocket to keep the hazardous gases coming off of the propellant stage from getting up into the Orion capsule. The diaphragm is 100% uh, composite structure. That is a, a fabric that is a carbon fiber fabric with epoxy. And when this is um, all put together, it makes for a very strong, very lightweight structure. Uh, and that's key for space flight. Well, this is the flight diaphragm that will actually fly in the first Orion EFT-1 flight test. And with any new structure, we have to proof test it to make sure it can withstand the uh, structural capability of the flight loads, which also includes thermal loads, uh, inertial loads. So the main design drivers for the diaphragm um, were to handle launch loads, uh, which can be up to 5 Gs, uh, and also a pressure difference between the uh, propellant stage and the Orion capsule. And so that pressure difference is what we are testing here today. When you're dealing with composites, it's a very process sensitive material to use. And so every time you use composites, you really need to um, get acceptance from the engineering community about how to uh, fabricate and to test the uh, composites that you're using. Uh, so that's been the most challenging thing, I think, is to really develop a roadmap that the uh, engineering community can get buy-in to and to prove out that the design that we're making and the analysis that we're showing is good can be substantiated by test. We actually installed four triaxial strain gauges, so that measures any uh, strain that the article sees and uh, that way the test requester can watch the data real time as we're applying the load and make sure that it's not uh, exceeding any strain that he kind of predicted. There is a, a benchmark in using composites in this way. It's the largest structure made entirely of composite that NASA has endorsed to be put on a spacecraft. Um, and working inter-center to develop that and to make that a reality is a key milestone to how we're going to be doing rockets in the future. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be looking back on this partnership uh, for future development and future flights.